Hi and welcome back to Larand Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hi, I am Larand and yes, it's motion day again and this time it's week 97. Everyone here is waiting and while we're waiting we're gonna take a closer look at the community. Uh, but also today we're gonna take a look at some new sneak peeks also. So that's gonna also be a little bit interesting actually and I'm gonna do a little bit of speculation. Maybe it's pretty obvious but well you never know <laughs> and here's a USS storm arriving also in the background <laughs> very nice And yes, here we have it. The Wandering Merchant has arrived in Port Jackson week 97. Okay, so let's see. Are we gonna have the new item again at the Merchant? I don't know. Let's see. Any reactions? Pass. Hard pass. Another pass. Ooh. Okay. Mixed emotions. <laughs> uh, I don't think uh, it's a good one. <laughs> but let's go check it out. Yes, so we have the Mubi Spear with damage 400 and a specialty that has a 25% damage buff against Mubi Wood. That was a while ago since I saw it. And we have the Trident of the Sea, a spear with a damage of 450. And then we have the Energy Rod, which uh, has a rarity chance of 35%, strength 5%, reeling speed 20%. The two baits are $10,000 bills, gives a chance to catch an exotic spy fish and also adds additional 3% rod strength, 50 charge. And then we have the millionth dollar, uh, which uh, has a chance to catch an exotic old blue lip and also doubles the sell price. It has a chance to double the sell price of any fish uh, that you catch, 75 charge. All right. But before we're gonna go and take a look at these items, we're gonna go over to the sneak peeks. There has been two sneak peeks during this week on Cloud Entertainment's Discord. And the first one is uh, actually a game pass that is coming soon, apparently. It gives you the uh, possibility to change your name color and the title color. This can be quite interesting, I must say. Uh, at first I was a little bit I was hesitating a little bit, to be honest, but uh, then I started to realize that it could be good to have this option because uh, the further you go and progress in the game, this rank that you get, you will keep it for longer period of time for each time you get a new rank. And eventually, well, you're rarely gonna <laughs> even get one more new rank and you will get stuck to a specific color, a color that you might not even like. So with this game pass, you actually do get the option to be able to change this as it says here. It says title color, but still, I think it's uh, very good and useful. And yeah, why not? And the second one is cooking something up and also with a chef emoji. This is interesting. I have seen so many other indications that cooking could be something that is coming to Fishing Simulator at some point and it's been going on for quite some time. And I also remember a really old picture showing something that looked like a kitchen. I don't really think we're gonna see that in the game though, but uh, uh, since that was like, uh, it has to be like two years ago or something like that. But uh, this looks like, I would say like an oven from the inside. Can see palm trees in the background and some crate. But uh, hopefully we will, we will be able to cook some food in the future. I um, don't know, maybe like a year ago, some things started to show up in Port Jackson. You could find small plots of carrots. You could also find mushrooms and I think it was cabbage or something. 
something uh, scattered around in Port Jackson and that could also be something that we maybe be able to farm together with having fish and then you can cook it just speculations we will just have to wait and see I guess all right but now let's go back to the items and we're gonna start with Mubi Spear, damage 400 and a specialty of 25% damage buff against Mubi Wood. We're gonna equip it. So this spear has a price of 75 charge. It looks like this. We're gonna go into the free camera. Uh, this one is pretty old. It's been in the game for quite some time, several years now. We're gonna throw it into the air to see what it looks like. As you can see, it doesn't leave any trail or any special effects. Uh, we're gonna throw it into the tree. It doesn't leave any special sounds or special effects. So it's just uh, a very gray, grayish looking spear. And we're gonna go over also in the dark and see how it looks like and behaves here. And uh, yeah, of course, it doesn't have any neon textures, no big surprise. No special visual effects or anything that glows. <laughs> Alright, so yes, that's the movie spear. We're gonna continue with Trident of the Sea with a damage of 450. This is a little bit of a game changer because this one only costs uh, 17, no 17, <laughs> it costs 15 charge. That is really good price to be honest. And uh, knowing also that this week we have a quest over at Raygun. That will give you 20 charge just by doing a quest with the name Safer Waters. This is very useful because 20 charge, once you have done it, you can actually claim this one. And just tag along with someone. You need to kill 20, uh, 50 sea creatures, I should say. And you can actually claim this spear. And uh, you only need to hit a sea creature once. You don't have to kill it. If someone else kills it, it's just perfect. Because it goes quicker for you if you have a weak spear. And this one, this one is really good actually. It's well worth um, spending 15 shards on it. So we're going to go into the free camera. It looks like this. It is uh, very nice actually. I like this model. And as you can see, if I go really close, it's transparent. It's like a glass spear or crystal. Very, very cool. And we're gonna throw it into the air. It doesn't leave a visible trail. That's the little bit of a downside of it all. But uh, still, this one really shines in so many uh, other areas. Gonna throw it into the tree. Looks like this. No special effect or anything when you hit something. Uh, so yeah, that's a little bit unfortunate. But it doesn't really matter. We're gonna go over into the dark and see what it looks like. And this is uh, interesting because as you can see, this one emits a glow. Fully visible glow, very very nice, uh, I like it and I like it a lot, uh, we need more items like this because it's so cheap and it still actually has so many nice features like this and as you can also see when you throw it through the dark it will leave this uh, bluish color uh, when I throw the spear, very nice effect when you actually throw the spear especially when it's dark outside, I like it, I like it a lot. So yes, that's the Trident of the Sea. And we're going to continue with the Energy Rod. I said uh, wrong first actually. I said 35% on Rarity Chance. This one has Rarity Chance 25%, Strength 5%, Reeling Speed 20%. Uh, we have it already equipped. It has a price of 70 charge. And it uh, looks like this. It has a very strong glow color to it. Or neon texture I should say. Uh, because uh, I don't really see the glow effect here on the ground but it definitely has a very unique and special appearance definitely uh, we're gonna throw it into the dark so we can uh, see the bobber uh, let's see if we throw the bobber uh, so it seems like the ground is not oh it's solid now nice uh, Clearly can see the bobber on the ground, that's neon textures and so is the majority of the rod itself also. So that's pretty cool actually, a uh, very visible and bright looking rod. I'm uh, gonna check what it looks like in the water also and you can see it has a, a very unique and special effect surrounding the bobber. Looks kind of cool and very, very unique. Uh, but yeah, that that's uh, that's the energy rod. <laughs> Alright. 
So, jumping into the conclusions from The Wandering Merchant, uh, week 97. This one is uh, just uh, like before when we have had Trident of the Sea. It's very easy to be honest, because Trident of the Sea is so cheap. This spear is uh, just so well worth it, especially if you're looking for a good start option, basically. And 15 charge, that's really good. And especially when you have the quest Safer Waters this week at, over at Raygun, that's 20 charge and it's very, very doable. You don't need to kill it, you need to hurt a sea creature, basically, and let someone else kill it. Uh, so that's very very doable and then you will have this spear and it will help you a lot definitely it's a fantastic start so yes those were the items from the wandering merchant week 97 well in any case that was all i had for you today if you do have any questions or comments about this please put them below like this video if you would like to see more content from fishing simulator please subscribe and yes have a nice day bye everyone